Imagine waking up every morning, brewing a fresh cup of your favorite coffee and knowing that not only are you getting a boost of energy, but you're also preventing the formation of kidney stones. Wait, what? Is this real? Drinking coffee may prevent the formation of kidney stones, but others say that there's a higher chance of getting kidney stones from it. Let's find out. Kidney stones are very common and the numbers are still increasing every year. Factors that increase your risk is if you have a family history, if you are always dehydrated, if your diet is high in sodium and protein, if you are obese, if you have certain medical conditions, and if you are taking certain medicines over a long period of time. Coffee is known to contain caffeine, which has diuretic properties, meaning you will have the urge to pee more than usual and possibly decrease the concentration of substances that form kidney stones. Take note that when you hold your pee for a very long period of time, you are also increasing the number of bacteria that can lead to infections, more bladder problems, and the worst, kidney stones. So that is a plus for coffee in preventing the formation of stones. But since coffee is a diuretic, you pee more, which is good, but then you get dehydrated. How will this work? Dehydration can concentrate the substances that can crystallize in the urine and form stones. The type of kidney stone that is most commonly associated with dehydration is calcium oxalate stone. These stones are primarily composed of calcium oxalate crystals. Oxalate is a natural compound found in many foods, and when it becomes overly concentrated in the urine due to dehydration, it can bind with calcium to form calcium oxalate crystals. These crystals can then aggregate and form larger stones within the kidney or urinary tract. Yes, coffee can make you dehydrated if you don't drink enough water, but not in an extreme way. The diuretic effect from coffee is mild, and drinking just one cup of coffee will not make you urge to pee for the entire day. Research suggests that the peak diuretic effect of caffeine occurs around 30 minutes to 2 hours after consumption. This effect can last for several hours, but it gradually diminishes as caffeine is metabolized and excreted from the body. Take note that some people may be more sensitive to the diuretic effects of caffeine. Aside from the relationship between coffee and kidneys, let's talk about something. Some things about coffee compounds in the coffee are not talked about but are actually really good for our body. Number one, chlorogenic acids. These are a group of antioxidant compounds found in coffee beans. Studies suggest that chlorogenic acids may have anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties. Number two, melanoidins. These are complex brown-colored compounds formed during the roasting process of coffee beans. It contributes to the characteristic aroma, flavor, and color of coffee. It has health-promoting properties such as antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, dietary fiber effects, and prebiotic capacity. Are you enjoying the video? Make sure you are already subscribed on this channel. Number 3. Trigonelline Research indicates that trigonelline may contribute to a reduced risk of type 2 diabetes. Number 4. Café Stall and Cowell Café Stall and Cowell are natural compounds found in coffee, primarily in unfiltered varieties such as French press or boiled coffee. They have both positive and negative effects on health. On the positive side, Café Stall and Cowheel have been linked to anti-inflammatory, anti-cancer, anti-diabetic, and anti-osteoclastogenesis activities. However, they can also raise bad cholesterol levels, which can be harmful to health. The negative effects can be mitigated by using filtered brewing methods, which remove most of these compounds. If you want to read more about these compounds in the coffee, all the links in the description. Now, we are talking about the plain black coffee itself. If you add sugar or creamer, 
then that's a different story. These include three-in-one coffee with more artificial flavors. I hope you are not expecting to get all the benefits I told you about earlier by drinking three-in-one coffee. Just remember, when you drink your black coffee, you should also be well hydrated. And if you are worried about your kidneys and asking, what are the best foods to eat? Then you better click on this next video, Best Foods to Eat for Healthy Kidneys. I will see you there.